Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little jacket with hood. It's very easy to make, so I hope you like it. You can make it for boys and girls. The one we're going to make in the tutorial is for little girls between three and five years old, but you can make it smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to 10 years old. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Okay, to make this little sweater, I'll be using this five millimeter crochet hook, which is an H hook. And I'll be using this Aran weight yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's Style Craft Special Aran. I used a total of 365 grams for the three to five year size, 15 grams in white, and about 350 grams in the main color. You will need less or more depending on the size that you make. Now, you can also use number four yarn or 10 ply. Now, here to begin, I have 58 chains. The stitch multiple to this base chain is multiples of four plus two. Now, the chain without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 41 centimeters, which is about 16 inches. Now, if your chain is off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, continue with the next row. So here, to begin, this is going to be the first row. Like I said, I have 58 chains. Into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three. Into this third chain here, make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next, and so on. For this row, this is all I'm going to do. One half double crochet on each chain. Continue to the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where I did half double crochets. Now I have a total of 56 half double crochets plus the two chains here at the beginning. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain two and turn. Now these two chains here never count as a stitch. They're just here so that when we finish the yoke, this part here is nice and straight. Now for this second row, this is how we're going to work the second row. I'm going to make three double crochets. So beginning on top of the first half double crochet, I'm going to make my first double crochet into the second make a double crochet and into the third a double crochet so here i have three double crochets now into the next half double crochet we're going to make two double crochets so here's our increase so this is how you're going to continue you're going to make three double crochets one two three and into the next two double crochets one and two and then you're going to repeat the same thing make three double crochets then two double crochets continue like this to the end of this row i will meet you here to show you how we're going to finish this second row I'm here at the end of this second row. Now up to here, I have a total of 65 double crochets and here's my last increase. I still have four stitches left. Now into these last four, we're just going to make one double crochet on each one. So we're always going to finish with four double crochets at the end of each row, there. Now I have a total of 69 double crochets for this second row. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Remember these two chains never count. In this row, I'm going to make four double crochets and into the next, I'm going to increase. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, Four, and into the next two double crochets. This is how we're going to continue for this third row. You're going to make four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next two until the end of this row. Now here at the end of the row, we're going to finish just like we did in the second row. We're going to finish with four double crochets at the end. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this third row. 
I'm here at the end of this third row. Here at the end, I just finished by making four double crochets, one, two, three, four. And I have a total of 82 double crochets at the end of this third row. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count. Now in this row, I'm going to make five double crochets, then I'm going to make an increase. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one into the next. That's two, three, four, five. Five double crochets. Now into the next, make an increase. So make two double crochets. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. You're going to make five double crochets, then two, five, two, five, two, till you finish the row with four double crochets just like we did in the third row. Now at the end of the fourth row, you're going to have 95 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, I finish with four double crochets and I have a total of 95 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. Now in this fifth row, I'm going to make six double crochets, then I'm going to make an increase. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. And into the next, we're going to increase. So make two double crochets into the same stitch and this is how you're going to continue for the fifth row you're going to make six double crochets then two six two to the end at the end of this fifth row we're going to have a total of 108 double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this fifth row i finished the fifth row at the end of this fifth row i have a total of 108 double crochets now for the sixth row chain two and turn now in this row i'm going to make seven double crochets and then we're going to increase so let let me show you beginning on top of the first double crochet make your first double crochet that's one two three four five six seven double crochets and into the next we're going to increase so make two double crochets into the same stitch here now this is how you're going to continue for the rest of the sixth row you're just going to make seven double crochets then two seven two seven two until you finish the row at the end of the row you're going to have 121 double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this sixth row I finished row six. At the end of this sixth row, I have a total of 121 double crochets. Now for the seventh row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, we're going to make eight double crochets, then we're going to increase. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets and into the next make two double crochets and this is how you're going to continue. You're going to make eight double crochets, then two, eight, two, to the end of this seventh row. At the end of this row, you're going to have 134 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. At the end of this seventh row, I have a total of 134 double crochets. Now for the eighth row, chain two and turn. Now in this eighth row, I'm going to make nine double crochets and into the next, we're going to increase. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochets and into the next two double crochets. 
one and two. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of the eighth row. You're going to make nine double crochets, then two, nine, two to the end. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished the eighth row. At the end of this eighth row, I have a total of 147 double crochets and the yoke is done. And if you notice, I've decided to change color here. I'm going to be using this dark pink color. This yarn here is Style Craft Special Erin. This is in the color Pomegranate, which is shade number 1083. I'm also going to be using some yellow here. I'm going to use the yellow here for the borders. So this here is called Impeccable Yarns by Loops and Thread, and this here is in the color Sunny Day. So here, what we're going to do next here is we're going to divide the sleeves. Like I said, at the end of the eighth row, I have a total of 147 double crochets. Now, each one of the front panels is going to have 20 stitches. Each one of the sleeves is going to have 34 stitches. And for the back side, I'm going to have 39 stitches. So front panels have 20, sleeves have 34, and the back side we have 39. So that's a total of 147 stitches. So now let's get started with the first row where we're going to divide the sleeves. So here for this first row, chain two and turn. Now, beginning on top of the first double crochet here, make a double crochet. Into the second double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Into the next one, back post double crochet. Into the next front post double crochet. And into the next back post double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue for these 20 stitches. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, the yoke is measuring from here up to here. It's measuring about 12.5 centimeters, which is about five inches. Okay, so now continue. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the first sleeve. Okay, I finished making these front post and back post double crochets for the first front panel. I have 20 stitches. Now to divide the first sleeve here, we're going to chain six. That's two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to skip 34 stitches for this sleeve and into the stitch after the stitch marker, make a front post double crochet. Now work a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next, back post double crochet into the next, and so on. Continue working these 39 double crochets until you come here to the stitch marker. Now, one thing, if you want to add more chains here to add to the waist or the chest measurement, you can. There is no stitch multiple for this stitch pattern, so you can add as many chains as you want, or if you want to do less, then you can do less chains. I'm going to do six. So continue, I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve. I finished the back side, I have 39 stitches. Now to divide the second sleeve here, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now skip 34 stitches and into the stitch after the stitch marker here, make a front post double crochet, back post double crochet into the next and so on. Continue alternating between front post and back post double crochets. So I'll meet you here at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. Here at the end, I have this last double crochet. So on top of this double crochet, make a double crochet. And this is how I finished the first row. Now at the end of this first row where we have divided the sleeves, you should have a total of 79 double crochets plus six chains under each sleeve. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do is just double crochet. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet and so on. Here, we're just going to work one double crochet for each of these double crochets from the previous row until we come to the six chains that we have under the sleeves. Okay, here's the last double crochet. You should have 20. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now we have six chains under this sleeve. You're going to do exactly the same thing under the second sleeve, which is here into the first chain, 
make two double crochets. One and two. Now into the second, make a double crochet. Into the third, make a double crochet. Into the fourth, make a double crochet. Into the fifth, make a double crochet. And into the sixth chain here, which is this last one, make two double crochets. One and two. So here under the sleeve, we now have eight double crochets. We have two, four, six, eight. Now continue for the back side, just making double crochets like this. For the back side, we have 39 stitches. When you come here under the second sleeve, you're going to do exactly the same thing here. You're going to do two double crochets into the first chain, one double crochet into the second, third, fourth, and fifth chain, and into the sixth chain, make two double crochets, and then continue and finish the second front panel. I will meet you here at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the second row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 95 double crochets. From here on, we're going to continue with 95 stitches at the end of every row. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count. Now in this third row, we're going to work the row front post and back post double crochets. So beginning on top of the first double crochet here, make a double crochet into the second double crochet work a front post double crochet into the next one back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do for the third row front post and back post double crochets continue like this i'll meet you at the end of this third row I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post and back post double crochets. Now to finish this row on top of the last double crochet, we always finish with a double crochet. Remember, we always start with a double crochet on top of the first and we always finish this row with a double crochet on top of the last double crochet. At the end of this row, like I said, I have 95 double crochets and from here on we're always going to have 95 double crochets and these are the two rows that we're going to repeat the row of chest double crochets and then the row of front post and back post double crochets so to start you off here for the fourth row you're going to chain two and turn in this row we're going to work double crochets so beginning on top of the first double crochet make your first double crochet on top of the next double crochet and so on for this row, this is all you do, it's just double crochets. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 95 double crochets. Now, once you finish this fourth row, you're going to chain two, turn, and then for the fifth row, you're going to work front post and back post double crochets. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of the sweater, just uh, repeating these two rows. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do for my little sweater, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. Now, one thing before I forget, make sure that you put a stitch marker here to mark the right side of the sweater. This is the wrong side, so this is the right side. Uh, here around the neckline, you can see this line that was left from when we did the row of half double crochets. So make sure you mark here the right side. I finished making this part. I did a total of 20 rows. Now, if you want to make this part here longer, you can. As it is, it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 37.5 centimeters, which is about 14.75 inches. Now, what we're going to do here is the bottom of the sweater. I'm going to go ahead and change yarn color here. I'm going to use this yarn here instead. I was going to use the yellow, but I'm going to go with this neutral color here. This is impeccable yarn by loops and thread and this is in the color Erin so we're going to continue with this yarn here so what we're going to do here is at the end of the 20th row I cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop so here to begin we're going to go here to the uh, front of the sweater this is the right side so we're going to go on top of the last double crochet that I did and I'm going to grab a loop here bring it through and chain one now into this same stitch here work a half double crochet half double crochet into the next 
half double crochet into the next and so on here this is all we're going to do just half double crochets and at the end of this first row for the bottom part i'm going to have 95 half double crochets so continue like this i'll meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where I did half double crochets. This is the bottom part of the sweater. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. Now here, beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Into the second half double crochet, work a front post half double crochet. Into the next back post half double crochet. Into the next front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for the second row, front post and back post half double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this second row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. Here in this row, I did front post and back post half double crochets. To finish this row, go on top of the last half double crochet and make a half double crochet. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now in this third row, we're going to repeat exactly the same thing we did in the second row. We're going to start with a half double crochet on top of the first half double crochet. Then we're going to work these stitches exactly in the same way. This next stitch is a back post, so work a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet, and so on. This is how we're going to continue for this third row. And we're going to do this for a total of, I don't know, maybe four or five rows. Continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So all you're going to do is just front post and back post half double crochets. Continue. Let's finish this part and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making the bottom part of the sweater. I did a total of three rows of front post and back post half double crochets, including the first row. I have four rows here for this part here and it's all done. Now what we're going to do next is the sleeves. I already went ahead and did the left side. Now when you do this side, you're going to do it exactly in the same way as I'm going to show you here on this side. So we're going to go here. This is the right side right here we're going to go right under the sleeve and right here we added these six chains and we have eight double crochets here so find your eight double crochets right there we have two four six eight so right in the middle of these eight four and four on each side so right here insert your hook grab a loop i'm using the same hook size this five millimeter hook with the same yarn bring a loop through and chain one now into this same space here, make a double crochet. Now what I'm going to do here is I have the first double crochet of the sleeve here. We have 34 stitches for the sleeve. And what I'm going to do is between the first and this stitch that I just did, I need to make two more double crochets. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to yarn over, skip these two double crochets, and in between make a double crochet and now skip the next two and into this space insert your hook grab a loop leave two loops on the hook here we're going to make a double crochet decrease so now find this double crochet where we divided the sleeve so into this space insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close now here are the three double crochets one two three now i did it this way so that there is no gap now we're going to continue. We have the first double crochet for the sleeve here. So the stitch after the stitch marker, make a front post double crochet. The next one, back post double crochet. Next one, front post double crochet and so on. Here you're just going to continue and work these 34 double crochets until you come here. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. I'm here at the end of the first row for the sleeve up to here i have a total of 37 double crochets now between the last double crochet that i just did and the first one i need to make two double crochets so let me show you how we're going to do this i'm going to yarn over into the next double crochet which is this double crochet where we separated the sleeve insert your hook grab a loop take two loops off leave two loops on the hook yarn over go into the next corner space here take two loops off three loops close so here's the double crochet decrease now skip two double crochets and in the middle here make a double crochet 
Now I have 39 double crochets at the end of this row. I'm going to skip these last two and just go on top of the first and join with a slip stitch. And the first row is done with a total of 39 double crochets. Now there is no right or wrong way of doing this part here. The important thing is that you finish with 39 double crochets. Now to continue with the second row, chain one. Now on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet and now here I'm going to work two double crochet decrease here. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops, leave two loops, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops, three loops, close. Again, we're going to repeat the same thing into the next two stitches. Here we're going to work these double crochet decreases because I only need 35 stitches to continue with the sleeve. So now I'm just going to continue all around the sleeve, working double crochets for this second row. Now continue, I will meet you here at this other end, four stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this row. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have these last four stitches here. We're going to do double crochet decreases just like we did at the beginning. So now yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops, close. Here's our first double crochet decrease. Now the same thing into the next two. Now at the end of this second row, I have a total of 35 double crochets. To finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now from here on, I'm going to continue with these 35 double crochets. If you want to make one more row of reductions, you can, that would be up to you. The width here of the sleeve is going to be smaller. Or if you want to not make any of these decreases and just continue with 39, you can, the sleeve is going to be wider so that would be up to you I'm going to continue with 35 now for the third row chain one now in this row I have to do the row of front post and back post double crochet so beginning into the same stitch where we join the first double crochet work a front post double crochet into the next a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet in, into the next back post and so on this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this third row front post and back post double crochets i'll meet you here at the end to show you once again how to start and how to finish each row from here on I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post and back post double crochets. I have 35 stitches. Like I said, from here on, we're always going to have these 35 double crochets. Now to finish this row, you always go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, I'm going to chain one. In this fourth row, I need to make the row of chest double crochets all around. So beginning into the same stitch we joined, which is the first double crochet, work a double crochet. Now into the next, a double crochet, into the next double crochet, and so on. For this row, all we do is just work double crochets all around. Now to finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing we just did in the third row. And these are the two rows that we're going to repeat from here on until we have a total of 23 rows. Let me see. Here's the sleeve. Here's the first row so we have 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 rows and then this row here that's 23 rows so in total 23 rows and then we're going to do the cuff now continue finish the sleeve and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished making these 23 rows for the sleeve. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 plus one row here. That's 23 rows. Now, if you want to make the sleeve longer, you can. That would be up to you. Now, what I'm going to do here is, or actually what I did is, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now, what we're going to do is the cuff and we're going to do it exactly how I did it here. Here I did a total of four rows of front post and back post half double crochets using this off-white color. And I am going to use this 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, if you're making your sweater using a different hook size, just go down half a hook size. Now, what I'm going to do here is with this off-white color, insert your hook here, grab a loop, bring it through, and chain one. 
Now here to begin, we're going to work these stitches as they are. This first stitch here is a front post double crochet. So I'm going to make a front post half double crochet. The next one, a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet and so on. This is all we're going to do all around front post and back post half double crochets. Now to finish this row, you're just going to go here on top of the first half double crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for a total of four rows. And that's all we're going to do here for the cuff. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished the cuff. In total, we did four rows. Now here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop, and the sleeve is all done. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing that we did here for this sleeve. You're going to do it here on this other side. It's done exactly in the same way. Nothing is different. You're going to start exactly in the same way as I showed you here for this side. And continue watching at the end of the video. I always leave you the finished measurement. Now here, what we're going to do next is I'm going to add a hood to this little jacket so to do this I want you to put a stitch marker here on this front panel this is facing me so on the left side you're going to count one two three and then put a stitch marker this here at the beginning are two chains so I'm just counting the half double crochet so put a stitch marker and then between this stitch marker and the next one here for the part here of the hood I have 50 half double crochets so here you're going to be left with three half double crochets as well so three on this side three on this side so we're going to go here to the left side on top of the next half double crochet so this stitch after the stitch marker right here insert your hook grab a loop bring it through and now chain one now into this same stitch here make a double crochet into the next make a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next front post and so on this is all we're going to do for this row front post and back post double crochets continue to the end of this first row i'm here at the end of this first row for the hood now here at the end on top of this last double crochet make a double crochet now at the end of this row i have a total of 50 double crochets front post and back post double crochets so now for the second row we're going to chain two and turn now here beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet then make another double crochet on top of the next and into this third make an increase so make two double crochets so this is how we're going to continue make two double crochets and then in the next make an increase so make two double crochets that's how you're going to continue two double crochets then an increase two then an increase and so on continue to the end of this second row I'm here at the end of the second row up to here I have 62 double crochets I still have three stitches left now into these last three just make a double crochet so that at the end of this second row we have a total of 65 double crochets now for the third row chain two and turn now from here on, we're not going to increase anymore. We're just going to continue with these 65 double crochets and we're going to alternate between these two rows. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet into the second, work a front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on. Continue to the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post and back post double crochets. Now to finish this row, you always go on top of the last double crochet and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the third row. Now from here on, these are the two rows that we're going to repeat. The row of front post double crochets and the row of double crochets, which is the exact same thing we did here for the body of the sweater. So to start you off on the fourth row, chain two, turn, in this row we have to make double crochets so beginning on top of the first one make a double crochet on top of each one a double crochet until you finish this row and then 
you do the next row with front post and back post double crochets and we're always going to have 65 stitches at the end of every row now i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here for this part but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row okay i finished making the hood i have done a total of 25 rows and it's measuring from here where i did the first row to the last row it's measuring about 27 centimeters which is about 10.5 inches and the width here it's about 39 centimeters which is about 15.25 inches so now what we need to do here is close the top to form the hood this here is the right side this is the inside so we're going to fold it in half this here is the right side so we're going to seam on the wrong side so that when we turn this over the seam is on the inside this is where i have my last double crochet go into the first double crochet of this last row grab this loop bring it through chain one and turn now again go into the last double crochet and through the first double crochet through both loops here grab a loop and make a slip stitch again go through the next stitch and in the back grab a loop and make a slip stitch and this is all we're going to do to join here and form the hood so continue like this finish this part I'll meet you back to show you what we need to do next I finished joining both sides here here at the end all I did was just make my last slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop make sure that there's no hole here turn it over and this here is all done that's how it looks so this here is the right side this is the inside now what we're going to do next is we're going to work here on the panels this here facing me is the left side so we're going to go here on the left side and we're going to start here right at the bottom with this yarn here the off-white color I'm going to insert my hook here into this chain space here at the end grab a loop bring it through chain one and here make two half double crochets here at the end one and two into the next row make one into the next row make one and into the last row here make one so here I have two three four five half double crochets for this part now we have two chains here at the end and then a double crochet so into the chain space here make one half double crochet into the double crochet make two we have again two chains make one half double crochet and then into the next row we have a double crochet so make two half double crochets and this is how we're going to continue here for this part until we come here to the top for the yoke it's the same we have two chains at the end then double crochet two chains double crochet continue i will meet you here at the top of this first row to show you what we need to do next finish making these half double crochets for this front panel now up to here this is the row of half double crochets i have a total of 46 half double crochets now into this row here of half double crochets i did two half double crochets now for the second row we're going to chain one and turn now in this row here beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet into the second work a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and so on continue like this I'll meet you here at the bottom to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row now here at the end on top of the last half double crochet here make a half double crochet and this is how I finish the second row with 46 half double crochets well front post and back post half double crochets now one thing make sure that when you make these half double crochets here they're nice and loose this part here tends to shrink a bit so if you have that problem you can either go up half a hook size or make sure that when you make these front post and back post half double crochets they're nice and loose now to continue with the third row chain one and turn here we're going to do the same thing beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet into the next make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet and so on 
Continue like this all the way to the top. I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I finished the third row here at the end. I just made a half double crochet on top of the last half double crochet. And this part here is done. I only did three rows. Now this little jacket here is for little girls. So buttonholes are going to go here on this side. I did not make any buttonholes because the spaces in between the rows of half double crochet are big enough for buttons to fit through. Now you can use 14, 15, 16, 17, or even 18 millimeter size buttons. They will easily go through the holes that are left in between the rows of half double crochets. Continue watching at the end, I'll show you uh, what size buttons I'm going to use for mine. And again, if you're making it for boys, which this is a unisex pattern here, button holes go here on this side. So you will put your buttons here for boy and the button holes are going to go here on this side. In this case, buttons are going to go here on this side for girls and the buttonholes are going to be here on this side. Now to continue here, we're going to go around here the hood and this part here. So we're going to chain one here and into this last half double crochet that I did, make a half double crochet. Into the next row, make a half double crochet and into the next row, a half double crochet. So here I have three because there's three rows. Now into this chain space where we have these two half double crochets, make a half double crochet. In between the next two, make a half double crochet. In between the next two, a half double crochet. And in between the next two, a half double crochet. So here you should have seven half double crochets. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now to continue, we're going to go here to the first row of the hood, which is Let's see, right here, this is the chain space that I did when I started my row of front post and back post double crochet. So right here into this corner, make two half double crochets, one and two. Now we're going to continue here along the side of the hood and same thing, we have a double crochet at the end and chain two. So into the double crochet space here, make two half double crochets. Here at the end, we have a chain, so make one. So you're going to do two, then one, two, then one, and so on until you come here to the middle part. Let's see, you're going to make one here because this is a chain space, and then here's a double crochet, so make two, and then one, two, and so on. This part here is the same. So make sure that this part looks nice. That's the important thing. If you need to add an extra stitch here, it's okay. Uh, so continue here all around the hood. I'll meet you here at this other end, right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these half double crochets all around the hood. Now up to here, I have a total of 77 half double crochets. Now, if you notice into this last space here, I have three half double crochets and I'm counting from here where I have this stitch marker. I'm not counting these stitches here before the stitch marker. I'm counting the stitches after the stitch marker. So right here. So I have a total of 77 half double crochets. If you have two, three, or even four stitches less or more, it's okay. The important thing here is that it looks nice. You don't have too many. So here to continue with the second row, chain one and turn. Now here we're going to do the same thing we did for the front panel. We're going to work front post and back post half double crochets and same thing make sure that these half double crochets are nice and loose or go up half a hook size so here beginning on top of the first make a half double crochet into the second make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on continue like this until you come here to this other side of the hood. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. Now up to here, I have 76 half double crochets. Now into the last one here, make a half double crochet right on top. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Here we're going to do the same thing. Beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet. 
into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochet and so on continue like this to the end of this third row i'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next i finished making this third row here for the hood at the end of this row i have 77 stitches now here what i'm going to do is i don't want to cut my yarn because i need to start here where i have the stitch marker so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to work some slip stitches so chain one into the last half double crochet space here make a slip stitch into the next row make a slip stitch and into the next row here make two slip stitches here right there so here i did one two three four slip stitches now insert your hook into the same space where we have the stitch marker and make two half double crochets one and two now in between the next two work a half double crochet in between the next a half double crochet so here you should have four half double crochets one two three four perfect and then four slip stitches one two three four now to continue and work this front panel here and into this row here of half double crochets which is the first row make two half double crochets here now into the next row we have two chains at the end make one into the next make two then one into the next and so on here the important thing is that you do the same thing you did for the first front panel for me i had 46 in the first front panel so for this second front panel i need to make 46 half double crochets and this is how i'm going to continue two one two one all the way to the bottom continue for this first row i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this first row for the second front panel i have 46 half double crochets remember the important thing is that you have the same number of stitches um, as you did on the first front panel now I'm going to chain one and turn for the second row. Now on top of this first half double crochet, make a half double crochet into the next one, work a front post half double crochet, next one back post half double crochet, next one front post half double crochet, and so on. Continue like this, alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row here at the end on top of the last half double crochet i did a half double crochet now chain one turn and beginning on top of the first stitch here make a half double crochet the next one make a front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet and so on this part here is the same as the second row Continue like this and finish this third row. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the third row here at the end. I just made my last half double crochet on top of the last stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this front panel is all done. Now what I'm going to show you is how to join this end here with the stitches that are here along this edge here. So to do this, cut a small piece of yarn like this. I don't know, this is 10 inches or so and you're going to need a yarn needle and we're going to go right here now there is no right or wrong way of doing this so this here is the inside so insert your needle right here let's see we have one two three fourth into the fourth stitch here and into the first stitch here at the end of the third row of the hood insert the needle there insert the needle again through that same stitch and now you can tie a knot and now we're going to go from this side to the other side I think this is called a whip stitch so I'm just going to go in there twice again into the next stitch twice and here's the last stitch the important thing here is that it looks nice 
and to me let's see this looks pretty good yes that looks pretty good now all you have to do is just hide your ends here and repeat the same thing for this other side I already went ahead and did this side for me so this part here is done I'm going to go ahead and just hide all of my ends put some buttons on my little jacket and then I'll come back and show you the finished hoodie I finished hiding all my ends and I also went ahead and attached my buttons. Now these buttons here are 14 millimeter size. You can also use 13, 14, 15, 16, or even 17 millimeter size buttons. The spaces here in between the rows of half double crochets are big enough for buttons to fit through easily. Now here many of you ask how do I attach my buttons? I just tie mine. Here maybe I should have just used uh, the off-white color instead of this but it's no problem. I'll make sure to hide it really Really good now the little jacket is all done and this is how it looks I absolutely love this stitch here and the hoodie I already give you the finished measurement before we joined um, as we were making the hoodie so this is how it looks remember that in my channel I already have the same pattern or the same design here without the hoodie so if you prefer to see that I'll go ahead and leave the link in the information box it's the same size now let me give you the finished measurements from the top of the shoulder to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 44 centimeters which is about 17.25 inches from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 27 centimeters which is about 10.5 inches now the width here of the sleeve just the top it's measuring about 12 centimeters which is about 4.75 inches and the length from the top of the shoulder to the end here it's measuring about 41.5 centimeters which is about 16.25 inches now this measurement right across it's measuring about 17 centimeters which is about 6.75 inches and the chest measurement just the top it's measuring about 33 centimeters which is about 13 inches so based on these measurements this little hoodie here is for boys and girls between three and five years old now you can easily make it smaller or bigger in the information box below i'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger i'd say from zero to three months and up to 10 years old so be sure to check that out also if you prefer a written pattern check out my etsy shop as always i leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box thank you so much for your support okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time